And we begin tonight with a story you'll only see on ABC 10. Hundreds of people gathered tonight to remember a father who died, saving his nine-year-old daughter's life. It happened in Tracy. The retired deputy was hit and killed by a car on his Sunday evening bike ride with his little girl. And ABC 10's Van 2 is in Tracy tonight. A bike ride with his daughter on MacArthur Drive on Sunday turned into tragedy when 45 year old Mark Madamba was hit and killed by a speeding car that crashed into this wall. His final act was saving his little girl. Hundreds gathered to support her and her family through their grief. He's up in heaven. He's now an angel. That's how Mark Madamba's wife, Kelly Madamba, explains it to the children he leaves behind. We always called him invincible. Madamba was 45 years old. The retired Alameda County deputy with a passion for Muay Thai was the real-life superhero in his family. Saving his nine-year-old daughter, Ava, was his last act of bravery. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I just ran across the street looking for my dad. <laughs> Ava says he yelled at her to bike faster across MacArthur Drive during their bike ride Sunday. When she turned around, she saw a red car smashed into this sign. Like the car went super fast because it made her hurt sound. Her father was pinned somewhere behind it. Small but mighty, little Ava is holding on to their fond memories. He was very nice. He was a very goofy dad. Between the hugs and tears at this candlelight memorial was also a shared sense of frustration every time a car sped by. When they put in two lanes each way, it's like a highway. People fly through here. Some family friends feel like Madamba's death could have been avoided. MacArthur Drive was widened from two lanes to four lanes earlier this year. Many say it's been much more dangerous. Pay attention because you one second you can ruin someone's whole life. She says if people slow down, her little girl may still have her father. The driver, we're told, stayed on scene. Meanwhile, family and friends are donating to a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral costs. And they also say they want to start a petition calling for safety improvements along this corridor.